Uh, Professor, feel free to dismiss this question because you feel it's out of court, too sensitive politically, but it's one I've been putting to clinicians and people in, in your line of work for weeks now, and it concerns this vexed question of to what extent you are willing to make mandatory the jabs that you're clearly a fan of. And we're talking about, by the latest count, 77,000 NHS staff who stand to lose their jobs on April the 1st because they are declining that mandatory jab. It, it's such a difficult question. People feel hugely strong, strongly about it on both sides of the argument. Are you willing to share a view with us? Uh, yes, I can. In fact, I've written about this topic in medical journals. Uh, so I'm a strong supporter of vaccination, uh, but I'm not in favour of making vaccination compulsory for healthcare workers for a number of reasons on the, on the, on the grounds of individual choice. But also, I think um, the risks can be mitigated because it's only a small fraction of NHS staff who are not aware who have not been vaccinated, and so we can mitigate those, those risks for the means. So, although I do support strong support vaccination, I'm not in favour of making it compulsory for NHS staff. And I have published on this in, in a number of medical journals in, in the past. Yeah. I, I just wonder whether you feel, in observing this argument, that the worm is turning a little bit. The Royal College of GPs urged at the weekend what they described as, quote, a sensible conversation about this. We had thousands of people taking to the streets, uh, some of them NHS clinicians, some of them throwing off their scrubs in disgust to make the point that they're no longer wanted. They were, they were applauded, they were clapped nearly, you know, a year and a half ago, uh, they've gone from heroes to zeros. They're not clapped anymore. They're in danger of being sacked. I, I just wonder whether you feel perhaps, as you observe this from within the system, if you like, that the appetite for punishing these people and sacking them might be diminishing. Um, that probably is the case, but in the end, the government will decide. You know, people must follow the law. So although I don't agree with the law, like everyone else, I'm obliged to follow uh, the law the government sets. In fact, a number of medical bodies are against this. This, uh, so not just the Royal College of GPs, but the BMA and others have also spoken against this compulsory vaccination of healthcare staff. So I, I, would, I would argue amongst medical bodies, the consensus is making vaccination voluntary and not compulsory and, and not in line with the government's uh, policy of, make, of, of, of legal uh, mandates to enforce vaccination.